U.S. response to the killing of three American soldiers in, um, in the base in Jordan. When was it? Almost a week ago now. Um, they keep, it's coming. The response is coming. Don't worry, people. There will be a response, and it's going to be any day now. Um, and it won't be, un, uh, you know, officials have leaked confidentially, but, but confidentially, of course, but uh, unequivocally, it, it, they will not attack Iran itself. They will attack Iran's proxies in Syria and Iraq. And, you know, they've had five, six days now to prepare. So hopefully, I, I assume all those proxies are now dispersed and all their bases are empty. Uh, and uh, and so, so, you know, but it's going to be a thorough response to clearly uh, dissuade Iran from attacking and hurting American troops in the Middle East in the future. This will be, this will be decisive in terms of expressing America's um, commitment to protecting its own troops and its own uh, military. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that is what the Biden administration uh, has communicated. Um, it, you know, Biden's being super tough on this, of course. I mean, this is absurd, ridiculous. Uh, the fact that you have to wait five days, six days, who knows when it'll happen. The fact that you telegraph exactly what your targets are and who you're going to attack. The fact that they repeatedly, every single day almost, say, oh, no, no, we don't want a war with Iran. Uh, pathetic, weak, uh, and ultimately will only make the Middle East uh, more deadly, more dangerous for any, any, anybody, anybody who... who is, is wants peace, anybody who wants a life, anybody who wants, you know, whether the Arab Jew, uh, Israeli, American, whatever, uh, the stronger Iran is, the more emboldened Iran is, uh, the, the more uh, crazy and violent and disruptive the Middle East will be. But the Biden administration is playing its part in making sure uh, that they uh, that they only become bolder. You know, part of this might be politics, right? Because, although, you know, this is Iran, but uh, Biden was uh, was in uh, in Michigan, uh, and uh, Michigan has a large Arab population. Michigan, of course, is a swing state. It could go Trump Biden uh, pretty close. It's it's just a few thousand votes either way. Uh, there's a, as I mentioned earlier, there's a large Arab population in Michigan, particularly in the Dearborn area, but, but generally largest Arab population in the U.S. is in Michigan. And um, is the video okay? Are, are we frozen? Is, is things okay? Can, can somebody confirm on the chat that everything's... Anyway, uh, Biden was there yesterday. Maybe they, they delayed whatever tax they were going to do uh, because, of, uh, because of that. So... Uh, um, because they didn't want to do it uh, while Biden uh, was there. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow, maybe, who knows, sometime, sometime in the next year, the United States will respond uh, to uh, what happened.